So attempt number two. Remember how it went last time? Why don't you work? The case kind of broke from multiple places, also nothing fits in it properly. The electronics is kind of a nightmare. No wonder you see manufacturers can never get it right the first time. So this is the old version, this is the new version. Now the new version looks a lot uglier because they didn't paint it there or sand it or anything. But don't pay attention to that because it's actually a lot better. First of all, it's got a lot more space inside so I can just fit the standard hoverboard battery and now I can fit the motherboard in the correct orientation whereas I would have needed to put it in some sort of weird angle inside the old one. Then it also has a place for a fan now because one thing that I did find out was testing last time is that the motherboard actually got really hot. So because it's right next to the battery I thought maybe a fan would be good. And it also has a lot more space down here where the motor is going to be so the motor is not going to Hopefully it touched the plastic. Speaking of the motor, I completely redid this as well. This has kind of hacked up front fork of a Jeep at Swan on it. So it used to look like this, but then I cut it off here, here, and here. And then the pedal is attached to that, and this is a lot more solid because previously the thread rod was bending, and when I took it apart after filming, it was like, eh. yeah. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to have to make an adapter for the battery because... Well, first of all, why am I not testing with a power supply like before? Well, because I borrowed it from the workshop and the workshop boys were very angry with me the previous time because they wanted to use it and well, they couldn't. So I'm running off a battery now, but uh, because on a hoverboard the battery connects to the other controller, I'm going to have to make an adapter because the connector is different. So, let's see... So everything's not going so swimmingly after all. I made a small design flaw. You see, I measured the motherboard length and made sure it fit. But then after I after I did that, I I thought where the screw holes could go, and then I made these sort of strengthening bits here for the screw holes. And yeah, it's a bit too tight now. So I need to shave like half a millimeter off the side of the motherboard. So I've got everything except for the battery in here now and everything should be connected so let's try and turn it on. Everything seemed to work when it was out of the box or like not put together and even when half of the things were inside the box it seemed to work and now no, it no longer does work. Okay, the whole sensors all work. The motor is fine, everything works. Well, everything doesn't work, nothing works, but the motor works. But the Come on, work, work, work. No. The problem is, when I modeled it, I... Do you know, I didn't model the wires. There's quite a few of them. So it's really annoying to get the battery in and I had to make it slightly smaller, but... It fits. So... So yeah. This is... This is quite annoying to wire up. Go in there. Runs real smooth this one. Um, yeah, if you, yeah, if you have your feet on the pedals, it won't do it this much.
how the fuck is it doing that? Okay. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ, this is... Oh, God. How do I get on it? really uncomfortable. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Really nice that they put the side cover on, isn't it? Because now I'm just, just going going inside, back inside. Exactly as smart as, as the time I came out. So I finally understand why it didn't work uh, some of the time and why it didn't work at all outside. Look at one of these ports. See, it has one of these sensors in there for when it's like a hoverboard and like if you step on it, a small peg goes inside here and then it understands that something is on there and turns it on. I don't have that because I just removed this cover and folded the sensors flat, but the sensors are optical. So outside when it's, when there's a lot of light, then some of the light comes through this case and then it uh, it thinks that there's nothing on there. This is like genuinely a fault that I didn't, I mean, I didn't even dream about thinking of expecting this or like, I had no idea something like this would even be possible. One slightly annoying thing is that the battery goes in here so extremely tightly that it broke one of the cables. So attempt number 467, let's see how it goes. Jesus Christ. How am I supposed to get on here? Just, like, oh Jesus Christ. No, 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 stay. I think there's something wrong with the, definitely wrong with the connections of the motor. It doesn't run at all smoothly, but, but it sort of does run. It's like having a really unruly pet or something. Like you try to step on it and it just rides away. Put it on the table and it just vibrates the table away. So I decided I won't fix the vibration because it's kind of funny and I kind of like it. And also I couldn't figure out why it's coming happening. There's probably something wrong with the face connections. Jesus Christ! If I break it, <laughs> you will remake it. Huh? I managed like four meters. Let's see what your best is. Uh. <laughs> I feel like I, I break it. Huh? Oh. I kind of could ride it, and Mart kind of could ride it, but I think you might be a better rider and you're also lighter, so I think you have the best chance. 
So here you go. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. So the first riddle is how to get on it. And there is no good answer, just somehow. <laughs> it has no torque. No. <laughs> what rating would you give it out of 10? Um, <laughs> I will give it uh, 5 out of 10 because it uh, stays upright when not ridden. So it can be just uh, a table toy. The motor is already smelling really hot. I can, I can smell the melting rubber. Here you go. Boom! The final product. And it's even good according to the reviews. I mean, we just got five stars. Chill. So, yeah, but in all honesty, it's really not very rideable. It's more like a toy. At least it works now. I mean, it's significantly better than what we had before. And I mean, I feel like it has potential. So, let me know. Do you want me to continue developing this? I mean, it could be a thing.